How strong is that hair? No, seriously, can anyone tell me how strong that hair is? How was that? We caught up with Anastasia at the Circus of Horrors in London to find out where her hair-raising talent came from. I first discovered that I had really strong hair when boys used to pull on my plaits when I was a kid, and we used to do a little tug of war in the playground. Everything you see in the Circus of Horrors is 100% real. There isn't like a metal plate drilled into my skull or anything like that. And when Anastasia isn't hanging out at the circus, she of course relaxes by towing trucks. I think it's easier for people to imagine that there is a trick to it, but it is exactly what it is. Uh, I am pulling the track with my hair. So the question is, how can she do this without getting seriously hurt? Good question, Adam. Hair is surprisingly strong. A lock of 100 hairs can hold up to 22 pounds. That's 10 kilograms. So a full head of hair, which is about 100,000 strands, can support 12 tons. That's two fully grown African elephants suspended from your hair. The strength of human hair is especially amazing considering that the hairs are mostly made of dead cells. But those dead cells contain keratin. The long, thin keratin filaments are arranged along the length of the hair, giving it tensile strength, which means it's resistant to pulling it apart. The problem is that if any one strand of hair takes too much of the load, it will snap. So Anastasia has had to very carefully braid her hair so the load is distributed as evenly as possible. That's why you need to take such a long time brushing the hair, making sure that all the poo is even across all the follicles. Any that uh, take more tension will pull out. Anastasia's also wetted her hair, which means that her hair is gonna be a little more elastic so that when she pulls on the truck, it's not one instant force, it's spread out more gradually. And this makes her hair less likely to break. From the science of hair follicles to the science of air molecules. Hey!